The guys at Coffee and Ham Radios did it again, this time with their Aries random wire antenna. What's a random wire antenna and why would you want one? Well, let's talk about that as we put this antenna together. Aries is the Greek god of war, also of courage, and that's a mighty high aspiration to name an antenna after, but it seems fitting for an antenna that when used properly can be uncompromising and savage on the bands. The Aries is a random wire or non-resonant end-fed antenna. It uses a 9 to 1 transformer at the feed point to match the impedance of the wire to your transmitter. Coffee and Ham Radio sent me this antenna in exchange for a build and review video. There's no outside influence in all of my comments are my own. But why a non-resonant antenna? Don't antennas need to be resonant in order to operate? Well, that's the cool thing about this style of antenna. If a radiator is non-resonant on any of the bands it is intended for, it will have an impedance at the end of the wire of about 450 to 600 ohms. You can use an external tuner or matching device to resonate it on those bands. Well, back in the days of tube radios and open wire feed line, it was easy to match the 450 ohm impedance of a random wire to your transmitter. Today, use a 50 ohm coax, uh, we can, we'll use a 9 to 1 transformer and tuner to accomplish the same task. It is really a weird quirk, but makes this style of antenna useful on a broad range of frequencies. That's a pretty simplified explanation, but with that said, I've got a quite a bit of experience and really love random wire or non-resonant antennas. So I'm excited to build this one and put it on the air. So let's head to the bench. We're gonna unbox the Aries antenna, assemble it, and give it a test. I just put a slit in a little bit of box here to open it up, and uh, we can see that it is uh, well packed. A little bit of bubble wrap there, first thing, uh, that we notice is the uh, frame or the wire winder that the uh, antenna is going to be built on and the uh, 100 feet of 22 gauge uh, silicon wire. Uh, this antenna is going to come in a variety of different colors of wire. Uh, when I got the Apollo when I got the Apollo antenna, it had uh, yellow wire and this one's coming in sort of a minty green. I like the green. I like colorful wires on my antennas. It makes it a little bit easier to see in the trees for uh, setup and teardown. Uh, this is a Velcro wrap to hold everything in place. I'm going to set this aside. I got a uh, personal letter from Chuck. That's pretty cool. Thank you, Chuck. And um, an envelope with all of the other accessories in it. Coffee and Ham Radio sticker. Um, and then you also get a a brief instruction sheet. Uh, this instruction sheet has the packing list on it so you can double check that you've got all the pieces parts before you start building the antenna. And then you also get a QR code. Uh, scan that code and um, you can uh, download and print the instructions for the in, uh, to put it together. So uh, let's open up this uh, little pouch and you're going to see what else we receive. Of course, the obligatory Coffee and Ham Radio sticker. Uh, this is a large piece of shrink wrap. After you complete the antenna, you can put the shrink wrap over your handiwork to help protect it. I've been leaving the shrink wrap off just to, um, for um, video purposes so you can see actually what's all involved uh, with the antenna. You get a bunch of zip ties. It says six zip ties here. These zip ties will be used for uh, making the loop um, at, at the end of your wire for deploying the antenna. You're also going to need a couple of zip ties to attach the um, uh, unin or transformer uh, to the wire winder. So you get a total of, of six of those there. Uh, you get three wires here, red, uh, black, and blue. This is uh, this pre-cut um, Piece, uh, three pieces of wire are what you're going to use to wind the 9 to 1 transformer. Speaking of 9 to 1 transformer, we've got that right here. Uh, this appears to be an FT140 type 43 material, very common in um, N-fed antennas. 
Uh, let's see, a couple pieces of shrink tubing. It says, uh, and those will be used in um, various stages. Uh, BNC connector, uh, this antenna comes with a BNC. Uh, we've got two small machine uh, screws. We've got two nuts and uh, one, two, three, uh, four of these little ring terminals. And that is a complete parts list for the uh, Coffee and Ham Radio's Aries uh, non-resonant antenna. So everything checks off on the list. Uh, let's put this thing together. All right, and it's complete. Let's talk about wire length because that's the key to an effective non-resonant antenna. If you look online, there are countless charts that give you preferred wire lengths based on which bands you wish to cover. These lengths been, have been mathematically calculated to not be resonant on any of the target frequencies you wish to use. But two lengths that are preferred are 41 and 71 feet. With 71 feet of wire and a tuner, I can pretty much operate on any band between 10 through 80 meters. If my radiator is a shorter 41 feet long, then I have 40 through 10 meter support. There are other lengths that work too, but these two, these two values, 71 or 41 feet, have the best mathematical combination for length versus band coverage. The Coffee and Ham Radio's Aries antenna now comes standard with enough wire for a 71-foot radiator along with a 28-foot counterpoise, approximately 100 feet of wire. Older models only came with the 60 feet of wire, so the upgrade in wire length allows the freedom to choose between building an 80-meter and a 40-meter antenna. I want 80 meter support with mine, so I'm going to build it with 71 feet of wire. But if you want an antenna with a smaller footprint and 80 meters isn't that big of a deal for you, cut your radiator at 41 feet for our 40 through 10, a 10 meter band support. We're out here at Blue Mound State Park and it is a beautiful uh, late October day here in southern Wisconsin. And this weekend, I'm going to be putting the Coffee and Ham Radio's uh, Aries in fed uh, half-wave random wire antenna on the air. You know, it's also Support Your Parks weekend, so this is going to be the perfect opportunity to uh, give this antenna a test. You know, really the nice thing about uh, random wire antennas is there's not a whole lot of tuning that you have to do. If you cut the wire to the specific length, um, it should, the, you, the dip should automatically fall into place within the bands, and um, you just need your um, external tuner to kind of um, uh, f flatten everything out and uh, you know smooth out those smooth out the rough spots and you'll get on just about any band uh, from 10 through 80 meters uh, with this antenna. Oh! Ha ha! First throw!
frequency in use, KB9 VBR. QCQ parks on the air, CQ parks on the air, KB9 VBR. Kilo Bravo Niner, Victor Bravo Romeo, calling CQ for parks on the air. Victor Echo 3, Whiskey Mike India. Good afternoon, 55 Wisconsin, park number Kilo 1441. Back to you. Roger, Roger, Wisconsin, Whiskey, India. Okay, QSL, uh, what's your park number again? Uh, the park is Kilo 1441, Blue Mound State Park. QSL? Okay, QSL, uh, I'm parked to park, so my, my park is Victor Echo 5575, over. Roger the 5575 in Ontario, and uh, thanks for the park today. Must be a new one. Okay, Roger that. Yeah, the 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 park number didn't come up on my log, but um, oh, good deal, good deal. Uh, I'm glad to get you in the log today. Hey, appreciate you being there, my friend. I'm glad I could find you here on 17. Yep, we're gonna go out to dinner in about a half hour, so I thought it was easier to get 10 on 17 than it was to break off at 20 meters. Alpha Charlie three India Echo. Alpha Charlie three India Echo. Good afternoon, five seven Wisconsin Kilo one four four one. Back to you. All right, thanks for the Pennsylvania. You have a great day in 7-3. This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Kilo Oscar 4, Tango, Kilo Sierra. Kilo Oscar 4, Tango, Kilo Sierra, 5-9 Wisconsin, park number Kilo 1441. Back to you. Roger, roger, sir. I you 5-5 in Oklahoma. All right, well, thanks for the Oklahoma. Uh, you have a great day, 7-3. 73, my friend. Uh, this is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Uh, KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. CQ, Kilo 2, Juliet Hotel. Kilo 2, Juliet Hotel, nice, 5-7, Wisconsin, park number Kilo, 1441, back to you. Roger, roger, copy the 5-7, uh, the you're 5-7. Uh, with a little fading here into Alpha Lima, Alabama. All right. Hey, well, thanks a lot for the Alabama today. Yeah, you got a solid signal, but um, good, good to get you in the log this afternoon. Great, thanks. Good luck. 7-3. Seven, 7-3. Three. Seven, three, take it easy. KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. November 6, Gulf Romeo. November 6, Gulf Romeo. Nice, 5-7, Wisconsin. Park number Kilo, 1441. Back to you. Yeah, you're 5-5 five, five here in New Mexico. All right, thanks for the New Mexico. Uh, you have a great day in 7-3. Seven, 7-3. Three. Seven, three. This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air. We're going to go last call. Whiskey Zero, Sierra Tango, Oscar. Whiskey Zero, Sierra Tango, Oscar. Gotcha, 5-5, five, five, Wisconsin, park number Kilo, 1441. Back to you. Uh, I've got a park number for you. It's Kilo 1212, Kilo 1212, and I've got you about a 5-7 down here in Colorado. All right, well, thanks for the Kilo 1212 in Colorado. It's uh, greatly appreciated today. Did you get the park number? Yes, I did. Uh, 1212 in Colorado. Cool. Hey, have a great day, man, and uh, your end sets are doing well for you. Yeah, I'm happy so far. It uh, seems to, it, it tunes up nice. <laughs> uh, the the auto tuner has no problem with it. So um, I love random wire antennas. So it's, um, it's, a, good, it's a good one. Uh, thanks a lot for the contact today. 73 KB9 VBR parks on the air cures it. November 4, Quebec Hotel, Quebec 59, Wisconsin, park number Kilo, 1441. Back to you. Copy 1441, you are 5555, Atlanta, Georgia. All right, thanks for the Atlanta, Georgia. You have a great day in 73. You too, 73. This is KB9 VBR, parks on the air, QRZ. 
the Delta X-ray? November 9, radio Delta X-ray, Kilo Echo 8, Victor India X-ray. Okay, we'll start with the uh, November 9, Romeo Delta X-ray, 59 Wisconsin, park number Kilo 1441. Back to you. Hey, it's my pleasure. Uh, thank you for the Indiana. You have a great day in 7-3. Uh, the other x-ray station? Kilo Echo 8, Victor India X-ray is 57 Columbus, Ohio. This is KB9 VBR. Parks on the air, QRZ. Uh, November 5, Whiskey Charlie. November 5, Whiskey Charlie. Gotcha, 57 Wisconsin, park number Kilo 1441. Back to you. QSL, you're also 57 in Texas. Thank you, it's 73. All right, well, thanks for the Texas. You have a great day, 7-3. KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. The Whiskey Alpha Station. Kilo Charlie 4, Zulu, Whiskey Alpha. Kilo Charlie 4, Zulu, Whiskey Alpha, 57 Wisconsin, Park number Kilo 1441. Back to you. All right, well, thanks for the Tennessee. You have a great day in 7-3. Seven, seven. This is uh, Kilo Bravo Niner, the Victor Bravo Romeo, parts on the air, QRZ. Is there a park to park station? Is there a park to park out there? This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Oh man, I'm getting noise. The purpose of this weekend, other than to go camping, because we absolutely love fall camping, was to uh, field test the Coffee and Ham Radio's Aries N-Fed Random Wire Antenna. This is the antenna that we built uh, earlier in the video, and then this weekend at Blue Mound State Park in southern Wisconsin, we uh, put it up, uh, deployed it, and put it to the test. And um, all I can say is uh, just one word, uh, spectacular. Uh, this antenna worked very well. Uh, the th the reason I like random wire antennas is that with a tuner, you can go just about any band in the in that HF spectrum between 10 and 80 meters, 160 meters if the wire is cut properly. Uh, but for this particular antenna, it was we had 71 feet of radiating wire and approximately a 28 foot uh, counterpoise and um, had no problem getting a tune on all of the bands between 10 and 80 meters. And uh, just to prove that, um, to put it to the test, we did the uh, N1, N1CC challenge 10 band activation here at the park. And we've got eight HF bands, 10 through 80 meters, and then <laughs> uh, two meters and 70 centimeters we did with the handheld antenna. So we didn't use the, we didn't use the Aries for that. But um, one part closer to N1CC award, uh, thanks to the Coffee and Ham Radio's antenna. If you're gonna use a random wire antenna, you do need um, a good external tuner. Um, otherwise, with the higher bands, your internal tuner will probably handle handle it most of the time, depending on, on how it's how the antenna is deployed. But um, an, a, a tuner of some sort is required for a random wire antenna. And that's, that's part of the magic with these things. So, about the activation, uh, over 250 contacts. We had uh, 180 on voice, on pretty much <laughs> um, uh, most of the bands, uh, 15, 17, 20 and 40 meters, I think we're all voice. Uh, digital, over well over 100 contacts on digital, 
uh, 10, 12 meters, 15, 17 meters, uh, 20, 30, 40, and 80 meters on a digital. All of those bands. We got all of the bands on this antenna, which is uh, which is why it, it makes it such a great antenna. Uh, we support your parks weekend, so the bands, especially 20 and 40 meters, were very crowded, and that ability to band switch um, with the aid of the tuner was invaluable in in staying on the air because I didn't have to contend myself to finding an open spot on 20 meters or on 40 meters if I would have had a, a regular N-fed half-wave antenna I could go to I could go to those other bands hit the tuner and uh, we were in business so it was a fun weekend um, uh, especially especially camping out here on support your parks weekend so thanks everybody that um, uh, was able to contact me uh, thank you coffee and ham radios for sending me this antenna this is going to be a this is going to have a permanent spot in my um, uh, antenna box so We'll see uh, this antenna show up in uh, future videos. Uh, but uh, questions, comments, uh, leave them down below. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day in 73.